the ship will cast off now. Single up all lines, over telegraphs. Voxel Cardek, single up all lines. कंधों से मिलते हैं कंधे कदमों से कदम मिलते हैं हम चलते हैं जब ऐसे तो दिल दुश्मन के हिलते हैं Na Bibeti Kadachan, that is the motto of the INS Mysore, this mighty INS Indian Navy ship destroyer that we're standing on. And for those of you who haven't had the benefit of classical Sanskrit education like we have, that means always fearless. Supremacy in the oceans is very important for a nation and this destroyer and others like it play a very critical role in that. These are very, very important ships for the Indian Navy. They have the capacity to strike on the surface, strike against aerial objects, strike under the water. In fact, they give us that extra punch that we need to be able to overcome and win any engagement or hostility that we get into. And just take a look at those armaments at the back, the main cannons, the equipment up there, the radars and God knows what all there is. The first thing that comes to your mind is lunch. <laughs> Before you spend any amount of time on a large ship, they need to make sort of a few things. Number one, do you have your sea legs, which means can you handle all this movement on the ship without feeling sick? And secondly, if you understand all the communication that takes place on the ship in case of emergencies. We've got our sea legs sorted out, we're not getting sick. We're not getting sick. The communication is done through a series of flag movements called the semaphore. This tells one ship to another without using any device what's going on. And it's a system of spelling out alphabets by using flags. The boat that we are on right now is a 180 horsepower outboard which is used to go and identify other ships when you are at sea to make sure if they are friends or foe. In fact, even this little baby, because it's from a destroyer, has its teeth. A medium machine gun is mounted here. There are guys on with guns making sure that nobody tries any fancy business or hanky-panky. By the way, is that a friend or is that a foe? That's definitely a friend. I can smell food on there. Yeah, it's only if they give us food. And there's a guy waving some sort of flags out there. What's he doing? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I, I can see this now. I know this one. I know this one. This is two, three, four, five alphabets. Crunch. Stop. Two. Am. Stop. Naidu. Crunch. Am. Naidu. Crunch. Am. No, it's not crunch. Not strong. It's it's lunch. 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 And it's not am. It is. So it's lunch is. And it's not Naidu. It's ready. Lunch is ready. Lunch is ready. <laughs> Lunch is ready. Not crunch and Naidu. It's close, but it's not quite the same thing. And I think that's the signal for us to head right in and start eating. Sab, bhot bhook lag rahi hai. ship ko laga diye side mein boat ko. Sir, Mayura and Rocky reporting for duty. Hi, welcome on board. Thank you. The Indian level warship Mysore. Thank uh, you. The premier warship of the Indian Navy. On a warship, everybody is a combatant and you know, we give a position responsibility uh, to everybody depending on the talents. Keeping your talent in mind, your action cards, wow. giving you a position of extreme responsibility. They will be most effective. These action cards tell us exactly what we are going to be doing here. Yeah. So they have a name of all the officers. Yeah. And their ranks. Yeah. And when piped, here are our stations. Action. Galley! Defense! Galley! Emergency! Galley! Shelter! Galley! Life craft! Two! Action missing! E! Sir, pretty much no matter what happens, we're in the galley. What is this galley business? I, I know we've just come on board and we're not really expert, but there's no reason to abuse us, sir. <laughs> Don't give us no, galley! No, uh, the galley is uh, definitely uh, one of the most important places uh, on the ship. You know, it's a place where uh, we make the food, you know, especially on a long deployment. Uh, that's a place, uh, you know, which keeps the motivation and morale of the ship high. It's a definitely an important place and I'm sure we'll find you worth there. It's a big responsibility, sir. Yeah, and it is. we will serve our nation by doing our best out of that galley. Either us or the food, only one will come out alive. Yeah. Us. Us. <laughs> Always us. Start eating. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be you. Nice. Yes. Well, welcome on board. Thank you. When you're inside, even if you know the ship really well, you could risk getting lost. To avoid that, they have very clear nomenclature. Now, if you see, look around, out here, you have these numbers and these letters. 
the ship both vertically and horizontally is broken off into sections for example rocky 1j a where are we one ja <laughs> one in this one jar stands for uh, the main decks. As you go lower down over here, that one is going to become two and then three and then four and so on and so forth. And as you go up, it's going to become zero, two, zero, three, zero, four and so on and so forth. And the J will say what part you're in. So depending on where you are, all the way up front is A section, B section, C section, D section. We're in J section. Don't ask me what the A is. I'll ask you, what's the A? What's the A? What is it? Why is it called J and A? Huh? 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 The J stands for the J compartment and A is the first compartment in the J section. So not only is it complicated enough with a number and an alphabet, that alphabet can have more alphabets at the end of it. Okay then, since Rocky is so all-knowing, he's also going to tell us what the Y is there for. Why? <laughs> Why? Do you know where we are? Yes. Where? We are on a destroyer of the Indian Navy. So, reporting for duty, sir, at the galley. Good. Welcome Hi, to the ship's galley. Thank you. This is where food is prepared for more than 350 people. Now I'll assign you to my PO cook in charge of the galley, who will explain to you what it takes to keep the men working and uh, the ship going. Dirpal ji, yes sir. 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 Sir, ये तो चपाती बना रहे हैं। Yes sir। ये तो मतलब एक घंटे में तीन चपाती बनाएंगे। हाँ sir। आप लोग ऐसे इस गैली में एक दिन में कितनी चपातियाँ बना सकते हैं? एक दिन के अंदर कम से कम तो हम छः दस हजार बना सकते रोटी। छः दस हजार रोटी। हाँ sir। पूरे दिन में। Wow। Six to ten thousand rotis in a day they can make। What's startling over here is the heat. It is tremendously hot over here as you can see. This place is a really hard place to be working in. It's not a cushy job, I can tell you this. And you may wonder how is it that one man standing here with, even with a little bit of help is able to make six or ten thousand rotis. It's not just the man. There's also a machine. They actually have a roti making machine out here that does most of the basic preparation. The dough, the cutting out. And then our job here, manual labor, is going to be to put it on there and just get it ready. Shola banke patar hai pig lana Ab jo bhi ho badal banke parbat par hai chana Dibhaji, ek meal mein, toh aap kiti roti hai banate hai? 15 roti per meal I've been here for 12 rotis and I'm beginning to melt He makes 15 hundred Another very important thing that you have to keep in mind is that there is no open flame on the entire ship Fire is a huge hazard so, there will be no open flames anywhere. In fact, even the rotis and all the food is cooked on a hot plate, which is the thing that he's turned off right now. Sir, when the ship is on the sea and everything is on the sea, it's very difficult to make food. It's very difficult to make food, but we make food. So, it means that it will slide if the ship... We keep it on the side, sir. Okay, so this is also on the side. Yes, sir. So, this is how difficult it gets. The ship is pitching and rolling. So, you see these little containers over here, these little metallic strips. These are used to tie metal wires around and make sure that the stuff that they're cooking doesn't get tossed or thrown in the process of cooking. Even though there's no open flame used, you'd be surprised at the range of food that can be cooked on this hot plate. There's an actual daily menu. And Rocky's going to read out for you, today being Thursday, what's on the daily menu. So for Thursday, we have a moving menu, which is very difficult to read. But what I can tell you is that there's... Pepper rice, egg roast, veg do piazza, veg cutlet, dal, masoor, masala and shahi tukra. And now we are working in tandem. Remember that when you are on ship on the high seas, all this stuff does happen. The ship's all over the place. We are just getting used to our training to be able to do all this while everything moves. Yes, it's all going to roll. Yes. And now that the rock is here, it's going to rock and roll. <laughs> I think in the heat, this drives me a little delirious. Nepal ji, your kitchen runs for 24 hours and opens for just a meal time. हमारा ये सुबह लेकर सुबह साढ़े तीन बजे से लेकर के तीन बजे से और रात को दस बजे तक खुला रहता है। In the case of action, this galley will stay open 24 hours so people can come and take turns eating. Remember, when it's action stations, every man on board is ready to do his duty at a minute's notice. Sir, I'm ready to do my duty. You are? Yes. My duty on my card says I work in the galley. That includes eating. So please, can we go so we can do our duty? Yes, we can. We're now looking at the action messing scenario. Now remember, 
there is no time to lose. They got a very little time to be able to eat. So when uh, sailors come out over here, their food is laid out very neatly like this. They'll just come in, sit down, finish eating, go back, throw their plate somewhere else, and the next lot will come out immediately. They have only a minute to come running here, a minute to go running back, and a very, very limited amount of time to eat all that food. And the amount of time is going to take us to sit down here, pull our plates and start tucking in and eat a little bit of the food. These guys will be in, they would have finished and they would have run out. So we better start, this is a panic situation, start eating now. You know why now. I'm smiling? Because while all the time he's been talking, I went early in the action messing. I've already finished half my meal while we're talking. <laughs> I'm getting a sinking feeling. Use it. Use it. By the time we have actually sat down and started our food, some of these gentlemen have already finished one helping and started taking another one. If you have to eat very quickly, how much time can you finish it? Two minutes. Two minutes, sir. Two minutes, sir. Yes, sir. We are in for some serious competition. They are already on their seconds. And I am ashamed to say Mayur isn't hadn't finished his first helping yet. One time, who has eaten the most chapati today? Is there a record of the ship? We are all watching. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Champion. The most small one. It doesn't look like it. How many chapatis? 8 to 12 chapatis every time. 8 to 12 chapatis? How many do you think this man can eat? 20 to 40 chapatis. 40? 8 to 12 for this gentleman here. 20 to 40 chapatis from here. This is a man who obviously knows his numbers. And the food is delicious. It's been made incredibly well. And it is truly delicious food. Do you feel good on the ship? Yes, it's very good. And this is how fast it goes. We're not even halfway through a meal and the other table's already completely moved out. We've been holding these guys but they're running off because the next group is coming in. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank all you. The best. Thank you. This is kind of embarrassing. We were hoping that all of them sitting there, nobody would notice everyone's left. There's a lot of people waiting outside but we're not going to move. Now, time is off. Please take from here. Next no, group is coming. Now. Thoda, sir, we can just no, no, no. Time is over. Oh, yeah. Can okay. we take our plate? Yes, sir. Thank you. They are very serious about this. Thank you, sir. Our station is the galley, so we're going to be right back. This ship of the Indian Navy is NBC capable and what that means is it can handle attacks of the nuclear variety, biological variety and the chemical variety. And showing us how to tackle with all these three problems is LME Mahesh Kumar who is putting on a suit for us. If the ship should go through an area where there is contamination over nuclear, biological or capable, the ship has the capability of shutting down completely. But after it's passed through, you have to have somebody go out and clean areas where it might still have the contaminant, which is what this very brave man does. He's wearing a suit, which is completely impermeable to any of these things. He's fully sealed and ready to go, sir. Ready to go? Thank you. He's now on his way out to make sure that there is no radiation in the air. You might also have seen he had these little white patches on his gloves. Those will tell him if there is any contamination and those turn a deep blue. So at least he knows there is contamination. I don't know if that's the case with Rocky's pants because his pants have turned blue and his shirt is still white. <laughs> We're with some very important young men. We're with Midshipman Mukesh and Midshipman Mithun. And they are training to be officers of the Indian Navy. But currently, what they are called is snorties. <laughs> so, how long have you been in training now? You're, you're now going to be officers pretty soon, hopefully. Yeah, uh, we have spent uh, three years in the academy and uh, this is the phase after spending uh, six months on board the uh, first training squadron, uh, mid phase you can say between a cadet and uh, office of the Indian Navy. This is also the final part of your training? Yeah, this is also final. And that's part. why you guys are studying so much? Yeah, we have to study a lot. So right now you guys are the lowest sort of... We call it uh, lowest form of marine life. Lowest form of marine <laughs> life? <laughs> and you have to, everybody must be giving you a hard time, go and do this, go and do that, run here, run there. I mean, you have to learn everything, right? Yeah, indeed, because it is important also. As uh, Captain Sir uh, generally says that ki an old man can sleep only when officers, they are confident enough in the bridge. So because of that, you have to learn. This is the foundation. You can say ki everything we have to learn from here so that we can become a good officer in the Navy. So, gentlemen, as midshipmen, what's your routine like? How do you spend 24 hours every day? Like when we are at sea, we do watch system. Like a midshipman is supposed to do 
12 hours watch continuous and then he goes back and studies so that he gains the knowledge and is prepared for his exams yeah. actually there is a saying in navy a midshipman and an admiral both are supposed to know everything in the navy by the way on the titanic was there a midshipman keeping the watch when it uh, i suppose no, no. midshipman no? yeah. <laughs> if they had a midshipman they wouldn't have that accident yeah, yeah. right you can say he is the alert chap uh, on the in the bridge so 24 hours in a day how does it work let's start at midnight what happens 1 o'clock in the morning what are you doing if i am i am on watch then i'll be standing in the bridge looking okay. ahead looking all the radars plotting the fix on the chart and uh, it uh, goes till morning 4 o'clock because it's 4 hour watch from 12 to 4 midnight right, right. and uh, same for everything because uh, 12 hour every midshipman in a day ha- ha- has to do watch in the bridge and uh, just for 12 hours uh, he'll be studying for 4 hours because he'll be he would have been asked so many questions by officers so he has to find out the answer of all those questions and then he has to get back to those officers also it probably also helps a lot that you're on the bridge all the other officers are going and coming so anything that you need to learn etc yeah, is all yeah, easy is, on the bridge that is also and it's a two way system they can ask you questions but you are also welcome yeah, asking we, questions we so these 21 year olds are already serving their nation good luck with everything gentlemen thank you one day we hope that you will be admirals that know everything we're on the bridge of this magnificent ship this destroyer and to tell us more about it is the old man of this ship which is a title that is given to the captain of every ship irrespective of how young or old he is hi sir how are you very thank fine you. thank yeah. you so much for having us on the ship sir what is this called for uh, as he brought out the captain of the ship is called old man <laughs> <laughs> and incidentally it is only the captain on board a ship who is permitted to ship uh, sit in the bridge right and since you can see this chair which is at slightly higher platform right. it is basically to support the old man to get onto his chair <laughs> so on our way up uh, while coming up the stairs we met some young officers to be the snorties uh, do you remember those days uh, when you were when you were perhaps a snorty yourself uh, dreaming of this position when i was a midshipman uh, i can say that was the best phase of my life this is the stage where you are just about to become an officer uh, you are in the learning phase you can go get away with doing mistakes <laughs> young and single and not accountable yeah, for most things sounds like a dream position to me as a snorty was it ever if you ever got the chance did you ever like sneak up into whatever ship you were on like try what it felt like to be on the captain's chair uh, to be honest yes i have that oh you did yes excellent <laughs> <laughs> so but better in uh, better in the dock or better out in the ocean uh, certainly better at sea and in fact the ships they have their role they are out at sea mm. Uh, we come to harbor only for short, short time so what exactly is the role of a destroyer uh, you know in naval parlance uh, destroyers are basically heavy surface combatants with long endurance long reach good speeds and good punch of weapons this ship is this brought in from somewhere is this built here no 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 this is uh, purely made in india in fact i can say they are one of the best ships in the world so this is a huge ship there's hundreds of people on board over here how long can you stay out at sea for like fully operational ready to go i mean what is the patrol length i won't be able to tell you the exact number of days but certainly we can sustain for uh, many many days at sea Uh, the only thing what we require is fueling at sea there's another thing that we've heard says that the food in the navy is the best out of all the armed forces with due respect to everyone else uh, it's just what we've heard yeah yeah you 120% right is that <laughs> <laughs> so says the navy man what is most important thing is uh, like in this ship uh, it's a true symbol of national integration i've got men from all states and wow. everyone has got their own eating habits hmm. generally you will find in a, a week uh, all types of menus there are prepared and when you're out in tour and you dock in at a friendly port or you're on exercise with some friendly navies is there some exchange program where people can come across or can you send some chola bhatura across to like yeah we do uh, no we don't uh, send across food but we right. do have exchange program where the right. sea riders from other uh, ships right. foreign naval ships they do come and we take pride in serving our indian food to them thank you so much sir for taking out the time to talk to us it's thank been an you. honor and a pleasure to be here thank, thank you, you very much thank you thanks It's been an honor and a privilege to be able to come here and to see exactly what the INS Mysore is all about and to bring it to all of you. This weapons platform remember is one of the most powerful not only in the Indian Navy but also anywhere in all of Asia. Absolutely. And what's most amazing is that it's indigenous. It's made in India, it's made by Indians and it's made for the defense of our country. 
we'd like to thank all the men on the INS Mysore for so generously sharing their time and their space and most importantly their food with us. So as we go about our daily duties, remember to put a thought out there for the men and women of the India.